Welcome to Monday of Holy Week 2020. This is Dr. Steve Kobernick, pastor of prayer at the Rock Church and World Outreach Center. And this is the second of seven two to three minute imagined prayers at the beginning of each day. This one is based on Matthew 21, 12 to 19 and John 12, 20 to 50. I encourage you to read these passages prayerfully before you continue to listen to this little conversation that Yeshua could have had with his father about what was on his heart the morning after Palm Sunday. Then ask God in Jesus' name for the four prayer requests he prays at the end of the recording. Dear Abba, thank you that you always pay attention and hear me when I pray. You are so good and I need you in your life for this day. Thank you for the jubilant welcome I got just before entering Jerusalem yesterday morning. But spiritual conditions in that city are deplorable. They are blind and deaf to recognizing me and knowing you. It was their time and they blew it. And the temple, as you well know, is such a stifled and commercial place that Israelites can't worship during the sacrifices and the Gentiles have no place to pray. I'm angry. May I take a whip and drive out the money changers again like I did three years ago? Yes, my eternal son, Yeshua. I'm sorry it's still needed. Something else? Thank you, Abba. I'm hungry for your temple, our temple, to be a thoughtful and respectful place where we can do redemptive signs and wonders, where children shout joyfully, where I can teach the ways that bring people your shalom, and where Gentiles can experience our house of prayer. I've already set it up so you can make all those things happen in the temple today after you drive out the money changers. You'll want to start early so you can have most of the day for ministry. And what about the Sadducees and Pharisees? Will you do something to disrupt their deceit? I actually have a stunning plan, Yeshua, but that's for a later day this week. I'm going to speak audibly to you today so everyone listening can know that you are in agreement with me. Wow, that'll be great. Thank you, Abba. I'll take my disciples to the temple early. Would you also do these things? One, prepare some of the blind and hard-hearted religious and political leaders to see and obey during the next disturbing moment you bring them. Two, help the leaders of my new people to learn quickly and during this time of great change to grow up and make fruitful decisions. Three, bring and then increase healing and deliverance miracles for your glory, even in spiritually cold temples. And four, prepare large numbers of Gentiles in every ethnic and language group to agree with you and to follow me. Amen. 